brand new video for you guys. I'm excited about this, this pickup. It is pretty much going to be my last Yeezy pickup for quite a while because there's no Yeezys projected to release um, right now until almost next summer. But I kind of have a hunch that there should be some Yeezy V2s dropping between now and next summer. But there's probably a few who are looking at the title of this video wondering, what am I talking about? Well, there's going to be a little bit of a hiatus with, I, I would say, uh, like live videos, like shot the same day. What I mean is, if you follow me, you know back Thanksgiving Day in November, uh, like I spent most Thanksgiving Day at the ER because I got hurt on Thanksgiving Day. And um, I haven't talked about this much in my videos because certain things you just want to keep you know, private amongst your family. But I'm having surgery tomorrow uh, to fix my left bicep tendon that's torn completely off the bone. Um, people, you know, have probably said, well, you're using it. Well, yeah, because the bicep is still there, but the tendon that connects your bicep to your forearm is torn and it's somewhere up in the bicep. So tomorrow what they're going to do is go in, cut like an S shape, cut here, cut up, and cut over, like a big ass S. They're going to go in, find the tendon up here, pull it down, they're going to drill a hole in the bone, whatever bone this is in your arm, drill a hole, and then anchor the tendon back into the bone. And then of course then stitch me up, it's going to be stitched all the way here up to the bicep. It's going to be a big scar. So I'll be in a soft cast for the first two weeks after surgery. After two weeks, they'll go take out my stitches and then put me in a hard plaster cast for four more weeks. So tomorrow I will be in a cast soft and plaster for the next six weeks. And uh, with this kind of a surgery, there's gonna be a lot of pain involved because they're cutting like a huge chunk of my arm opened up to find the tendon to pull it back down and reattach it to my forearm. So I'm gonna be on some painkillers. Um, so just to think ahead, I went ahead and I'm recording probably a couple weeks worth of videos. And uh, just in, you know, there's there's gonna be times when I'm not gonna really feel like recording a video because I might be in a lot of pain that day. So I'm gonna have, so there might be a couple weeks here where you're gonna see me functioning properly, arms moving. But then you see me on Twitter and you might see like a picture of me and I'm in a freaking cast. That explains that. So for the next couple weeks, you might, I'm still gonna drop videos, but it's like pre-recorded that I recorded actually mostly today and yesterday. I'm dropping some Yeezy videos. I made it, I think a top 10 video. I might make a couple of those. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, probably after maybe even, just, it just depends on my pain and the amount of painkillers that I'm on because I do not want to be in a YouTube video all you know doped up on painkillers and looking like I'm doped up. I don't want that. You know, I keep this like, like like a family channel. I watch my cussing. I try to. I keep on topic as well as I can. So that is what I'm making meaning by the title of this video. There's going to be a little bit of a couple weeks here where there's no actual like you know current like. I record this today kind of a thing. So, bear with me. Anyway, Yeezy. Let's crack this open. This might be the last Yeezy unboxing for a while, but this is straight from Adidas. I've actually had this on my table here in my sticker room for like over a week now, I think. I just never unboxed it yet because I knew what it was and you know, I'm just, didn't unbox it yet. But here is the box. You see it's like a little baby box. Little baby. This thing is tiny. But you got your uh, little man size four. This was the only size I was able to get off of Adidas that day when they dropped. Uh, these are the blue tints with that EPC inside. Pull it out. Look at it, and it's blue tints. We've seen these many a times. Uh, I'm actually gonna shoot some videos about, or video about this RFID tag. I'm gonna do a little bit of research on it, it what I can find out. 
because people have been, been, been asking me about this RFID chip that's in the shoe. Well, it's not in the shoe, it's in this tag. There is an actual chip. So that's different. And the right shoe does not have the inside removable sticker on the blue tint. Man, this thing is so little. Like, here's my freaking hand. So I almost have like what? Almost a four inch like linked hand. So little. But uh, I got this because it's the only size that I could get. And I'll probably just hold on to this thing till next year sometime, maybe next summer. And this thing will be fantastic trade bait because there's a lot of, a lot of ladies out there who are going to want this shoe next summer. So, that's what I got for you. Last Yeezy unboxing of, well, I guess now it's 2018. First Yeezy unboxing of 2018 is the blue tints. So, um, I know some of you are asking right now, like how are you able to like do all this stuff with a, with a bicep that's torn off the bone? Well, pretty much the way it works is the bicep muscle is still there. It's the bicep muscle tendon that connects the bicep to the forearm is gone. They gotta find it and reattach it. So pretty much I'm unable to rotate my arm because the bicep tendon is what makes you rotate your arm flat and without a tendon, I can't rotate my arm. Like this one, you can see I can rotate it. See that? This one, it won't rotate because I'm missing that tendon that, that makes your that makes my arm move it's not there they got to find it and reattach it so crazy but i mean the actual bicep muscle uh kind of makes up for the missing tendon where i can still pick up stuff but one thing that's very strange is my arm gets weak very very quickly uh like my wife and i went to the library last week and i was holding three books in my hand three softback books that weighed probably 10 pounds and i picked them up and literally within a matter of seconds, it felt like I was holding like a collection of dictionaries, like big dictionaries. The strength is just gone. So if anybody out there has any kind of soft tissue injuries like I have right now, uh, I would love to hear about it in the comment box. Uh, like how was your recovery time? What was it like? My doctors have said it's gonna be, uh, it'll be about three to four months after I have my surgery before I can even, or once I get the cast off, I get the cast off middle of February and it won't even be till basically early summer, late spring, before they said I'll even really be able to use this arm. It's gonna take three or four months post cast before I can even really pick stuff up. They said it could take a full 12 months for a full recovery of everything healed up, attached, strength back. And so I'm just curious, does anybody else have any kind of injury like mine maybe? torn shoulder, arm, leg, knee, something. I'm just kind of kind of trying to gauge. So uh, a year's recovery time sounds like a long time, but for what they said is, you know, pretty much you have to rework the muscle post-surgery for a long time to get it back up to where it needs to be. So anyway, thank you for rocking with my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. Um, this will be, this is Tuesday, January 12th. Tomorrow's my surgery. So today will be my last like same day shot video edited and uploaded the same day I shot it for, it might be a week or two. So uh, of course, if there's any kind of breaking, absolutely breaking news uh, about shoes or something, if something happens, you know, you might see me record, you know, a talking video over a picture or something, but uh during the first couple weeks after surgery on some pretty powerful painkillers, I don't want to be on YouTube. Don't want it. So anyway, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Just do it right now. Um, follow me on Twitter at Franchise Kicks. Follow me on Instagram also at Franchise Kicks. And I'm always open for discussions. Hit me up. You want to talk shoes, sports, food, whatever you want to do, hit me up. We'll talk and uh, I will see you very soon. I'm out.